Today we're going to do a different type of a joint. I've, in my past videos you've seen my butt joint where I put together, put it in a vise and tried to break it. I showed the strength of the product HTS735 from aluminum-weld.com. Today we're going to do a T-joint like so. Now what I use is a propane torch and this rod. Now this is soldering or brazing. It's actually not welding because we're not melting the aluminum. Now, the strength of it will speak for itself. Now this isn't meant to replace a MIG or a TIG or any of the things you welders use. This is for the person that doesn't have those skills or that equipment. So what I'm going to do is use this piece of angle aluminum here to put this together, hold it in place, then I'll heat it up and apply the rod. So I've already removed the oxidation with the Dremel. I'm going to tin this area because I want to get full strength. That way I also clean this uh, side of the uh, aluminum. So when I put them together, that will also be part of the joint, not just on both sides. So I'm going to apply heat. I'm going to turn this torch up to get it hot. Now the way this rod works, the way this rod works is, you apply heat, move the flame off to the side and check it. It's very, very important. Do not put the rod in or near the flame. If you do, the rod will melt and just roll off. The aluminum must melt the rod. If you watch carefully, you'll see this rod actually penetrate into the aluminum. I'm going to turn the torch up so it get kind of noisy here. back down so I can talk. See how I left some rod there? And now I have it up to temperature. All I do is keep that flame ahead of where I'm working. You see the aluminum is melting the rod, not the torch. It will not work if you put the rod in or near the flame and preheat the rod. And there we go. And now I have a nice little puddle there. I'm going to turn the torch up and burn that in a bit. See how it penetrated into the aluminum? Okay, now I'm going to put the T part in, like so, and uh, reheat that, and then we'll uh, check the strength of it when it cools. But I'm going to add more on each side, obviously. Okay, I've got my bottom piece tin. You saw me do that. Now I've got to clamp together. I'm using this piece of angle aluminum to hold them in place. Now I'll heat this up and uh, make that joint. Now it's very important, this piece is already hot, so I'm going to add my heat up here because both pieces must get to the melting point of the rod for this to work. And there's no guesswork. I'll just check this piece and I'll check that piece. When both pieces melt the rod, I know I'm at the correct temperature. That's the beauty. There's no guesswork because all aluminum tells you is it's too late. This rod will tell you 500 degrees before it's too late. So let's go back down to the aluminum here and I'll light my torch. I'm going to turn this up to kind of heat up this foil because it's kind of noisy. Notice my heat is concentrated on the top piece. The bottom piece is already hot. So I don't need to add nearly as much heat to it.
broad milk there. The bottom one's not. They're going to put more heat down here. did then I let it go solid cool a little bit and go solid and I took the uh, clamps off and moved the uh, elbow over there a 90 degree so I can finish up where the 90 was so I'm going to heat this up again until it melts the rod and then we will uh, finish this joint Typically, I do want to use steel because the rod doesn't stick to steel or stainless steel, so that would have, would have been a better option. I didn't have that available, but I didn't clean the oxidation off this, so therefore it didn't stick to the uh, rod because of that. Okay, now we'll put it in the vise. Let's see how strong it is. You've probably seen the soda can where we do that at shows and so forth. I got a video out there as well, and that we do that because the rod, it well, the cooling time is much less. For a soda can than it is for something like this. It took about 40 minutes for it to cool so I could pick it up. All right, here we go. Let's see what happens here. Gotta get down the vise a little bit further, I suppose. What's happening to it as you can see I'm not having much success breaking it oh, for my bricks there I wish I wouldn't have done that but that's an acceptable uh, joint it's stronger than the aluminum 45,000 pound tensile strength 31,000 pound shear strength I'll zoom in on there you can see how I actually bent the aluminum here displaced it 
And there's the joints. You can purchase it off my website, aluminum weld.com it's hts 735 comes in a pack of 25 rods or 18 inches long they store indefinitely have a 100 percent money back guarantee i'm only a phone call away i've got videos out on youtube and my website we're always adding more i keep get a lot of questions well how strong is it? i can see you put stuff together but how strong is it well there is an example right there